know, I meet so many people in my line of work who think very little about themselves. They've got reasons for being underachievers or only achieving average stuff. And usually it goes along the lines of, yeah, but I'm no good at that. If it wasn't for bad luck, I'd have no luck. It's all right for other people. Yeah, it's okay for you, but it's not for me. I can't do that. I'm useless at that. You know, that's so wrong. We're all unique and in our own way, we're all perfect. The only thing that's holding us back is what's in here. The limiting beliefs we've accrued in our life so far. Now, we all have setbacks. We all, you know, get knocked down. We just have to get up and get on with it. And we should learn from those. And those, they should make us stronger. Unfortunately, very often, they have the opposite effect. I mean, take kids in a schoolyard. Now, it could be that, for whatever reason, the other kids pick on them. Now, that happens. That happens, I bet, in every school, in every gang. There's, there's a fall guy or the fall girl. And they, they're picked on. You know, they're laughed at. Now, that can have serious detrimental effects in there on the child because they get to be seen to be a nobody, a no good. And this becomes a belief. It's so, it sinks into their subconscious mind and it becomes a belief there. They go through life really believing they're not as good as anybody else and they can't do this and they can't do that. What a shame because it's not a belief. Well, it is a belief. The trouble is that what you think you are. And the trouble is that, you know, we've got these two minds. We've got our conscious mind and our subconscious mind. Now, our conscious mind is our reasoning mind. We can think about things and reject them. We can, you know, think about them. Um, but in our subconscious mind, we can't do that. Everything that's in our subconscious mind is real and is a fact. It's absolutely real to us. That's a problem. Now, these, when these little things happen, if, they, if they're significant in your life, they sink down into your subconscious mind and they become a limiting belief. So yes, you believe it or they believe it. And because they believe it and because it's in their subconscious mind, they can't rationalise it. And it becomes them, becomes their story. It becomes their course, their route through life. But it doesn't have to be like that. You can find out what these limiting beliefs are that are holding you back and you can eradicate them. It's not easy, you don't do it in two minutes. I mean, something that's been set in there for the best part of your life isn't going to go in two minutes, but you can do it. And if you want to change your life, you need to do that. You need to change who you are in order for, in order for things to become different. Look, the life you're living right now you created. Nobody else, you created. Now the fact that you created one life means you can create another one and another one. You can create as many as you like. There's no reason why not. If the life you're living isn't giving you the results you want, then you need to create a new one. But before you can do that, you need to create a new you by removing the limiting beliefs that's telling you you can't do that. Henry Ford famously said, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're always right. Too many people go through life thinking they can't. I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't make more money than that. I can't make a hundred. I can't make a million pounds. Yes, you can. But not until you get rid of that belief that tells you you can't. Anybody can. Anybody can become wealthy, successful, happy, but not if you've got limiting beliefs that are holding you back from achieving that. Now, if you really strange want old world, but it's true. to have a better life for you, your family, you can. You can have whatever you want. What you think you are, you become what you think you can become. Change those limiting beliefs, so. Do you want help to do that? Do you want to know more about it? Then copy this link here, put it into your browser, and check out my website, thekeytolife.com, or you can click on the link below. But have a look round.
Look, it's never too late. It's never too late to make the changes in your life that will give you the results and the life that you want. But only you can do it. We can help, but you have to do it. And doing it begins with a start. If you don't start, you don't finish. You can't, can you? So why don't you make the start? Go for it now. Make the start. Let me help you. We will get you to where you want to go. My name's Peter Hogan. Join me and live a better life. Thank you.